Hi. Hi, did you order ramen? Did you order ramen? It's not a ramen. It's a cake. You want a cake? I have ramen cake. You want ramen cake? Yesterday, Kyla took another cake order. And it was due for this morning. So she built the cake yesterday, and then I decorated it last night. So I had to pan the cake, and then let it chill in the blast to harden up. Then I got my ganache and chocolate shavings ready. And then we're gonna wake it up from the blast. And then we're gonna coat it in ganache. You wanna swipe off the excess off the top so it doesn't drip off later. Then we're gonna do our chocolate shaving side crumb. If you haven't noticed, I kinda have my own style of doing cakes by now. This is one of my favorite ways to decorate them. I think it just looks nicer than what they ask us to do. Then we're gonna take some ganache, we're gonna add some water to it, and if you mix it up, it starts to make it thick so we can pipe it. I know it doesn't really make sense, but that's how it works. I'm pretty sure it's due to the cornstarch and oil in it reacting with the water. That's my best guess. But either way, it looks really nice and tastes good. And they didn't want any writing on top. I hope you like chocolate. When I was in the third grade, I wanted to be an artist, but my teacher told me that that wasn't a real job, so I should choose something better like being a doctor or a lawyer. So when all my friends were going off to college and learning to be doctors and lawyers, I stayed behind. I jumped from job to job and never stayed more than six months before I became super bored and depressed and often wondered, how did people just wake up and go to work every day? It wasn't until 2008, after I quit my job as a graphic designer, that I started experimenting with cake decorating. I would watched a show called Ace of Cakes and saw people making these amazing sculpted cakes that looked like works of art and that was their job. So I started teaching myself, in secret, learning everything I could about making these new kinds of sculpted artistic cakes. And for the first time in my life, I felt happy. So even though you might not understand what I do and you might not like the fondant or the rice cereal or see the need for a threaded rod in a cake, it doesn't matter to me. Because for the last 12 years, I've supported myself and my family by living my dream and I finally became an artist. I hope someday you can live your dream too. We should all be so lucky. I could dance like Michael J. I made this cake for YouTube and the video blew up. It has over 14 million views. On the inside, I did this beautiful rainbow pattern. So when you cut it open on every slice, you're gonna see that kind of rainbow filling. And then the outside I iced to kind of like orange yellow box. I don't know if you guys can tell what it is yet. I might have just given away with the logo. But when you pipe down some buttercream on some saran wrap, then you transfer it over to the cake or salving wrap. It does this beautiful logo. You can transfer anything like that. It works so well. I then added all these kind of fun and details to the cake and added some more details and buttercream and everything is starting to come together. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some ice cream cones and wrap them in just fondant and stick those into cake with some cake pop sticks. There it is, it's starting to all come together and I can't believe how well it turned out. See, rainbow slice in every single slice. I love it. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, It's 6.30 a.m. and I can't sleep, so why not make a TikTok? We're gonna be making Cheesecake Name Desire ice cream cakes. First, we need to cut our yellow cake. We're gonna make a batch of two large and two small. So we cut our two large out of the corners and then flip over the long sides, and then we're gonna cut out our small rounds. Yes, the fourth one always looks funny, but we don't wanna waste any cake, do we? And then we're gonna have to pick up all these and then cut them all in half. And then you get your pans ready, and then we're gonna add the cheesecake ice cream and then some graham cracker pie crust and our first layer of cake. Then comes a raspberry mid layer, more ice cream, more graham cracker, and more cake. And that's how you make a cheesecake game desire. Make sure you put them in the blast so they can sleep at negative 20. Today, I've been, oh, oh my, I've just fucking dropped my sponge cake. 
Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how I eat cake. My awesome friend right there made me this cake, so let's go. Woot woot. Okay, this might be the weirdest one of them all. So you're gonna like, you take your cake and you're gonna like trace out a section, like the, your favorite part that you're gonna want, and then you're gonna put it. Thank you for 100K, motherfucker! Hello, let's make my daughter's sweet 16 cake. Man, I put the fondant on and it tore, so I had to go ahead, take it off, and put it all over again, and then fix it up. This is for the bottom tier, that's for the top tier. As you can see, I am a bit of a perfectionist. I had to make sure the edges were nice and sharp and crisp. There you have it. Now I'm adding the quilted pattern so that it's easier to follow when I do the stitching design. And I'm gonna make it look like a soft pillow. So what I do is I have this little tool that helps me to create little, like you see there basically, it explains it pretty well. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a little silver pearl, edible pearl inside each of one of those holes. And now it looks like a quilted soft pillow that you can easily sleep on. So putting the top tier on, adding a pearl border and painting it in silver, adding the top number, sweet 16, you can see the decor in the background. And here is the final finished product. I'll show you the rest of the decor later, but I hope you guys love it. I made this dark chocolate strawberry cake that had dark chocolate cake layers, strawberry buttercream, a drizzle of strawberry preserves, some chocolate ganache, and of course tons of fresh strawberries. It was six layers tall so it ended up being a super tall cake. I did my best to crumb coat it, chilled it, then added a second layer of frosting which I got super smooth. Then I added freeze dried strawberries around the base and chocolate dipped strawberries on top. And a chocolate drip, respect the drip Karen. It was so yummy, wish you guys could have a bite. This has to be the weirdest cake I've ever made, but also one of the most challenging ones and one I'm most proud of. I baked my vanilla cake in a skull-shaped pan and I covered in buttercream icing and covered that in ivory fondant. I then spent hours and hours and hours making all of these little fondant details and once I had some of the details done, I then started cutting my cake apart like this and making all these gashes. The whole reason for that is I'm making a zombie. But zombies aren't one tone, so I used an edible airbrush machine and airbrushed on all these kind of blood spots and vein spots on his head, added these teeth, made them yellow and as if some of them were falling out. It took two days to make and was so challenging to get all the details right. But of all the cakes I've ever made, this is definitely the one I'm most proud of.
Hi guys, my name's Jill, and today I decided to recreate the first vegan cake that I ever made because this looks so bad. Okay, anyway, so I started off by making these different colors of this buttercream. So I made some blue cacti with some orange flowers, and then I also made some green cacti with some pink flowers. Then I made this cake pop mixture, and I made these bigger cacti out of that. And then I made some purple buttercream and made into these purple succulents. And then I made some chocolate cake. I took it out of the oven with my bare hands, and then I leveled off all the cakes, and I stacked them up with this vanilla buttercream. Once I got that all tall, I crumb coated it. I popped that baby in the fridge, and then I made some of this orangish buttercream, and then I powdered the whole thing in that, and then I carved out some stripes, and then I filled it back in with some of this white buttercream so I could get these rough orange kind of white stripes, you know? Then I made some blue white chocolate, I dripped that down the side, and then it became time to assemble my cake with all the cacti. So I dipped each of the little like cacti buttercream things in some white chocolate so they would stick, then I had my whole cake, and then I cut it up and I ate way too much of it, and it was a good time. Okay, thanks for watching, bye! Max and Ruby. Ruby and her little brother Max. Max and Ruby. <laughs> I finally caved and I bought these cake combs that everyone's been talking about so I could do the biggest cake trend. I made this epic rainbow filling on the inside so when you cut it open you're going to see a rainbow. Gave it a nice crumb coat and then popped in the fridge to chill. Once it was out, I gave it a nice thick coat of buttercream icing, smoothed it out with the straight kind of edge cake comb, and then I went over it with this kind of grooved cake comb that creates all these grooves that you can put another color butter and cream into it. Of course, I chose rainbow. It took a while to get it smooth and get it perfect looking, but I was super happy with it, and then I wanted to top it off with some more rainbow patterns, so I made this rainbow sausage and then just kind of tested my swirl to make sure it was rainbow enough, and then swirled that all along the top of my cake. I love how colorful this one turned out. Let me know what cake trend you want me to try next, and don't forget to like and follow for more videos like this. Jessie asked me to go grab a cake for her, but I was also building a cake. They wanted cake batter ice cream with sprinkles and Oreos mixed in. After I mix that all together, I'm gonna split that in half. That's gonna be our first layer of ice cream. Once we smooth that all out, it's time for our first layer of cake, and then a mid layer of caramel. Next up is our next layer of ice cream, and then our next layer of cake, and then that goes in the blast. Once it goes in the blast, it's time to do pan it, and then decorate it. This one seemed pretty basic. On the order form, it was just white frosting and then sprinkles, but I've been trying to figure out how to do this for like the last week, and I finally figured it out. 